Okay, welcome everybody to China. I'm in Guangzhou today. Uh, I'm going to do a, um, a societal test just to check uh, for every business that I walk into in China, how many of those businesses will require me to do a uh, temperature check. So this is one of the most popular malls in this area. It's called Rock Square. Uh, as I walk into here, you'll see that there is a hand or there is an automated uh, temperature checker that checks your temperature. So I'm in. Now, I'm going to head into the supermarket in front of us. So as you can see, there are people also getting their temperatures checked here. Let's get mine done too. Here's here. And I'm in. I can do my shopping today. But I don't want to do my shopping today. So uh, first place I'll come to after that is to uh, one of the coffee shops in here. Let's go upstairs. And as you can see, everybody inside of Rock Square is wearing a mask. It's unavoidable. Actually, so I've just stepped outside of the mall to give everyone a different perspective of how to get inside the mall through another uh, entrance. There's a typical handheld uh, temperature scanner. Says, yeah. And then inside here, you have a big bread shop line. I don't think they're using a scanner here, but I'll come back and check it out. Alright, two Starbucks. Alright, if you come into the hairdresser, then you do have to get your temperature scanned. But I don't have to cut my hair today. What I will do is practice my Chinese by coming into Shimbaka, Starbucks coffee. So here we go. Oh, what is a delivery driver? And here I come. Aniha. Okay, it's all Okay. And I have to write my name here too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so inside, I've just bought my coffee. Some of the safety, uh, health, and prevention measures that Starbucks has put in place is to uh, seal off a whole section and just have uh, an inner section where people can self isolate and sit down in um, very spaced areas. So I'll probably sit here later. And uh, there's a notice there that's just telling people Use this after 10 minutes. Thank you for understanding. So coming out of Starbucks, there are shops like this that also require, as you can see, uh, your temperature to get scanned and to put your name down if you have an appointment. Uh, but I'm not coming here today. And I'm not sure what that shop's about. Coming forward, definitely if you're getting a haircut, uh, people are touching each other. So you need to also, there's some hand sanitizer there. You need to sanitize and then you can get your haircut. But normal shops like these, you can just walk into. Uh, there's no special requirement to go into clothing stores, for example. Uh, but this shopping center is actually very dead. This is the children's play area. Obviously, no children can play today. You can come to this area still to put some money in and get a massage uh, if you want to. And then we have the cinema complex inside the mall, which has been closed now for more than two months. No one in China is able to watch uh, a movie or congregate. So just to finish up, I could probably walk into a dozen more uh, shops inside the mall today and outside. But the general idea is that when you go out in China, you have to expect to at least get your um, temperature checked a few times. Uh, to come into the mall, I had to get my temperature checked. To buy some food at the supermarket, I needed my temperature checked. Uh, to come get a coffee, I needed my temperature checked. And to get any kind of uh, food at a restaurant or to go to a chemist, you need to get your temperature checked. So that's the, the fact of life in China these days during the coronavirus outbreak. 
So the security guards um, haven't taken me so far. I haven't disappeared, which is good. Um, China is actually a very relaxed uh, country. Yet there are some uh, issues with that, what I've just mentioned, but in general, you can walk around uh, with a camera and nobody is really going to uh, mention anything. But anyway, that was me today. I'm back at Starbucks Coffee. There I am. I'm gonna walk in. Uh, thank you for watching the video.